Hey, I'm Rainier, buyer's rep from My Casa Real Estate, and today we'll be discussing bringing your vehicle into Mexico if you're a tourist or temporary resident. The rules are more complex if you're a permanent resident, so hire a customs broker if that's your status. So, if you bring a foreign plated car into Mexico, you must obtain a temporary import permit unless you intend to stay in the free zones. The free zones are within 25 kilometers of the land border, the entire Baja Peninsula, a small area in Sonora, and the state of Quintana Roo if you drive in from Belize. To get the permit, you'll be asked to show the following documents. A valid passport and non-Mexican driver's license. Your tourist card or temporary resident card. An original and a copy of the title and registration in your name proof of temporary Mexican auto insurance, and if the vehicle is rented or leased, typically some notarized proof of permission that you can enter Mexico with it. The permit allows you to bring one car in, although there are exceptions, and drive around for a specific period of time. You have to drive it out and return the permit before it expires or you'll get fined and your car can be confiscated. Permits are issued by a Mexican bank called Banjelcito and some consulates. So don't get taken in by fraudsters that tell you they can get you one. They can't. You can get the permit in advance online from Banjelcito or in person at their office near the border crossing. There's a $50 fee and a deposit of between two and $400. Now, if you don't drive out before the tip expires, you'll also lose this deposit. The expiration date on that permit is tied to the date on your visitor permit or the valid date on your temporary resident card. Now you can leave the country, you can leave the vehicle here, you can come back in, but the original expiration date won't change. And when you leave, you must stop at the border to surrender the permit at customs. If you haven't surrendered the permit correctly, good luck getting another one in the future. And if you're thinking about it, don't abandon the car in Mexico. You'll be subject to a 40% customs tax. So hope this helps. Reach out if you have questions. And if you're in town, let's get together for a coffee, and I hope we're neighbors soon.